to do a quick show and share of three word cloud creators so that you can see how to operate and use them. The first is Wordle at wordle.net. This uh, screen comes up after you click on the create button and click into the box and paste your text in and click on the word go. I'm using Safari. You may find that some of your browsers won't move in through the Java if you don't have the Java plugin updated and your word cloud is created. You can then change the color, the layout and the font and do a little bit of randomizing or editing. So that is Wordle. If you are, this is in Chrome and I click go I end up with an image that says this plugin is not supported. You can always try a different browser or a different computer. The second one is ABC Ya, Word Cloud for Children or for Kids. And this one is nice. You don't have to sign up, but you do just click into the box. This screen pulls up. And then again, just paste your text in and click on the arrow to create your word cloud. And again, there are some options around color. You can change the color. You can change the layout a little bit. Uh, and you can change the font um, depending on what your, you know, suit your style. The third word cloud is called Word It Out. When you log into Word It Out, this is what shows up. Click on the Create button. Again, uh, paste your text into the box and click on the generate. Then you can change the fonts and the colors. You can do some color selections. You can change the size as well. And let's see, let's regenerate. Let's paste again, click on create, leave this page and let's create a new one and let's generate and see what comes out. And again, you can change the fonts and styles. If you'd like to learn more, there are other uh, word cloud generators. Tagool, you do need an account for. Wordle, you do not. And Tag Cloud, you do not. But Tag Cloud doesn't provide a randomized type of um, uh, word cloud. When you have your word cloud, it's as easy as doing a screen capture with a Mac. It's command shift four, and I can then capture the image of my screen. And that then is the image that I can paste into my word, um, my, my blog post or my blog page. So hopefully this is helpful and we'll get you started with some word cloud generating. Thanks. Bye.